Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. Well, it's so good to be with you here this snowy um, evening here in the New England area. And, you know, I've just been a little motivated to start to really think about the garden a little more deeply. You know, it's still just a dream and a thought, and so I just wanted to share with you um, with what I am doing and just wanting to express myself and, and just think about the garden. So um, just come with me on my little journey as I um, think about daydream and try to put together uh, this garden. If you like this video, like, share, and subscribe, comment down below, and also um, just have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and thank you for sharing your time with me here. my first um, attack on the garden what I think it might look like and so I'm going to share with you some of my thoughts and I'm um, just wanting to think about well what is it that I want in this tea garden and what would I want it to look like and um, what I've been doing is actually going back and looking at the different what I've been doing is going back and looking at the different catalogs and also the different herbs that I've cut out already and looking at what I've also bought before, the seeds that I've already purchased and seeing, well, how do I want that all to play out and where do I want them to go? Um, I'm still at the beginning phases of this and still feeling it out and wanting to utilize uh, some of these examples here that are in the white flower farm of what I would want the garden to look like. I'm kind of kind of moving towards this kind of look.
I have the containers that I put that I um, purchased from the Dollar Tree and just looking at the colorful placements of them there and the shape of the garden area that I'm thinking of for the tea garden or maybe a, bump, a bird bath or something in the middle just to center it a little bit more and uh, to square it out so that I can put the herbs in this area and know that it's designated for that but then also leaving space or room around it for other types of plants um, and um, vegetation and you can sort of see that here in my own design here where there's something in the center there and then the parts surrounding it um, and just thinking of the different types of herbs that i want to add to the garden like for example the ones that are already there lemon balm and lemon thyme spearmint chocolate mint my pineapple mint the apple mint which will probably surround this area here and then inside have a more um, more specific type of plantings um, more so the uh, Russian say the sage the chamomile um, the basil the cilantro the lavender the parsley um, and um, 
rosemary. atmosphere just makes me feel really good. I have my um, candle lit and it smells really nice and I made a cup of tea of course and um, I'm just enjoying the atmosphere of being here in my kitchen area and using the space to dream about spring even though it is looking so much like winter right now outside with all of the snow and hearing the wind whistling and howling out there uh, but um, it's just good to be here and think of, and to be able to think about the garden
So we know that with putting together a garden, that there's certain things that we want to make sure are in play. And so when I'm thinking about the, the, the garden here and making this design, I also want to think about the sun and the location of the garden, how much sun it's going to get, determining um, what I want to have in each section of it, the, the uh, plantings and the types of plantings. And I'm thinking that yes, I'm going to try to seed some of these plants, but also I believe that I'm going to get some seed uh, starts um, from the garden uh, gardening uh, center and uh, um, use that as well. Um, I've had good success with getting the, from the gardening center. They already pre, you know, developed and started seedlings and then planting them in. They seem to grow quite well for me. It's because being here in the Northeast and also not really having um, uh, the, a, a real greenhouse, you know, a warm greenhouse where I can um, really store the, the seeds. I have my temporary greenhouse, but that is more um, useful in April and May when I want to do seed starting. Um, so it's a combination of both. I think that you just have to go with it, just flow with the garden. And um, it will also tell me what it wants and how best to address the needs of it. So between what I want and what it wants, it's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> I know it's gonna be beautiful.
time. It's just fun to just to draw and paint. And it's very relaxing. There's something about coloring that is just so relaxing, you know? And I don't know if you were, as a child, if you'd like to get your box of Crayola crayons and looking at all of the different colors and to be able to um, just um, use it to, to draw, you know, and create your own designs and things. It's, it's just a good and fun thing to do. You can see my um, Crayola crayons here and all of the different colors. <laughs> it's, um, to me, it's just a fun thing to do and it's very relaxing. It's good for, good for the creative juices, just to allow it to flow, you know? So that is what I've been up to. And um, I'm going to try as we go on through the week to fill this out and maybe even start another one, just looking at the bed from a different angle. Because um, this is more or less looking down at the bed, but maybe looking straight ahead. What does that look like? And um, uh, looking at the different flowers. So, um, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. And uh, what are you doing on a snowy day, if you have one? And how are you planning your garden? What are you looking at? And what are you observing? And what are you thinking about? And are you trying to draw it out? Um, how are your drawing skills? <laughs> what are you doing? And even so, um, even if you um, just try it just a little bit, you know, uh, it's just so relaxing. It's good for the soul. It's good for the soul. And it's great for your creative juices to flow. So I hope you're inspired. And um, I and just... I'm just happy. This just makes me very happy. Just enjoying myself and thinking about the garden and not thinking about the things that are happening all around us. You know, uh, moving forward, thinking forward is really good for um, one's soul. So, uh... video like share and subscribe comment down below and also um, just have a wonderful wonderful evening and thank you for sharing your time with me here in Catherine's garden and home have a great day bye For more videos, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time right here in Catherine's Garden. Bye.